Hey, this is Adam from Mikanto Reviews. Welcome back to my Rocket Builder demo series. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to go into Rocket Builder and we are going to create a page basically using the editor, the page builder that comes with Rocket Builder. Um, so we are doing a little more advanced work than what we were doing in my first demo. Um, but as you should see, as you will see in this demo, Rocket Builder gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can do when building a website. So before we get into this, <clears throat> a quick note about what is going on in the second day of the Rocket Builder launch. Um, originally, when Peter Beatty released Rocket Builder, he was going to only run the... $37 developer license discount for the first couple hours of the launch. That ended up getting extended through the end of the day yesterday and today he's decided to run the $37 discount for the rest, at least the rest of today as well. Uh, the light version on the other hand has increased to um, $19 plus, I say plus because it is a dime sale, so now it's probably actually over 20 bucks. Every few sales the price goes up, but you know everyone is purchasing the developer version anyway because that's where you get the true value. Um, today that ver version was supposed to be $47. Why did he leave the price alone at $37? Well on the first day Quite frankly, there was a lot more sales than anyone ever expected. The product took off and the, there were server issues as a result. The server could not handle this swarm of new customers and users coming into um, the Rocket Builder members area. So basically this is his way of just, I guess, apologizing to customers in general and, and I don't know, whatever it is. Um, it means that if you have not purchased it yet, you can still get that ten dollar discount. Technically, technically it's what nine. Uh, technically, it's a lot more than a ten dollar discount. It's um, let me tell you right now, it is. It is actually a sixty seven dollar discount because after this launch ends, the permanent price of the developer license is going to be ninety seven dollars. Um. Which means, yeah, at $37, that's very, much cheaper, obviously. <clears throat> so, so yeah, and these are the bonuses that you get if you purchase through my review page, which is linked below this video. Um, so that's all I'm going to mention about the review itself and my bonuses. For now, I will go over that one more time at the end of this video. Now we're going to go into my Rocket Builder installation. Um, yesterday what we did was we went through and showed you how to bring in one of the demo templates that comes with Rocket Builder. We also went through the settings. What we ended up with is this home page. Um, as you can see, we've got a motion background, which is pretty cool. I used the beauty template. As you can see, it's a modern, elegant, and professional theme. and. I was impressed with this one. All of the templates do look different, which is why we say that Rocket Builder is kind of like having over 75 different templates, different WordPress themes for the price of one WordPress theme. Um, and then I brought my um, logo in here. Obviously, it's not related to beauty in any way, but just wanted to show you guys how to do a few things with the page. We also changed the header from the original header. Um, basically just little things that we did but today we're moving on to actual work with uh, building pages editing pages and kind of going inside the actual the actual theme and showing you what it's capable of doing okay so we're gonna come into the dashboard and the first thing I want to do is go into the pages all I mean, we're gonna see all of pages in our current WordPress site and if we go back here you can see that if we go to the career pages for instance which was part of the demo so this was you know already built 
Um, you can see what it looks like here. Very simple page, obviously, it's all text. Um, let me see, I want to find a, a page that we can work with as an example. Let's use the About Us page, okay? So what I'm going to do is show you, how, how would we say that? I'm going to show you what this page looks like in WordPress, basically. Um, because we want to see how they built this using Rocket Builder and how we can basically replicate a design like this on our own. So what you would do this is the About Us page. So what you would do is come into Pages, All Pages, pull up About Us, and this is going to pull up the editor. Now the top portion of this should look familiar because that it basically looks like the default WordPress um, most WordPress themes and uh, as far except you don't usually have these buttons back end editor and front end editor which are part of Rocket Builder you don't have this local SEO engine area either and, uh, and speaking of these two we will get to that also in this video but I'll quickly show you what that's all about basically you click the back end editor and you see all of a sudden this this uh, screen comes up that says welcome to blank page you have no content yet let's add some content or use predefined layouts and so you can easily add elements and add text blocks and change the layout here um, these are all things that you can do with rocket builder for instance if we click more layouts and come over here you can select a layout for this page just like that and then you just kind of fill in the areas with your content and that's what I'm going to do because I'm not really good at um, coming up with uh, my own structure and, and template. It's always sloppy when I do it, so I want something that looks good, you know. So basically, I'm going to pick one of these and then fill it in, and then that's what we're going to do. Um, and then if you want to do, you can also do, let's go back to classic mode and click on the front end editor. You can also go into the front end editor, which which pulls up the full screen and pulls up your page as is right now. See, this is the About Us page that we we're looking at. And you can add elements. So as we can see here, we already have stuff from um, pre-existing content from our About page. But down here, we can add and modify more and you know what whatnot. So uh, you can also come up here and check this out. When you click Add Elements, these are all of the different elements you can add to a page. Okay, there's a lot. There's quite a bit. So, um, so that's that, but that's not what we want to do just yet. So, I'm going to close out of here. And what I want to, what I really wanted to show you, let's go back. I, I guess I lost uh, the page that I was on. So let's go back to all pages and go back to about us because what I really wanted to show you here is um, I want to show you below this area we have the Yoast SEO plugin this is not part of Rocket Builder but it's a free plugin that I really recommend um, it's basically for op SEO optimizing your site a lot of people use this. It's one of the most common WordPress plugins out there, but that's not part of Rocket Builder. I just want to point that out. But down here it is. So here's your page options. Now, what I want to point out to you is this because this is how they, this is the framework behind this page here. Everything you see here, these are basically all rows and columns. Okay. So we can match so basically we have let's see one two we have three rows right so let me show you how this looks here this is row number one these images are row number two and then down here we have row number three but it has two columns right and so it has two this part here right it has column number one column number two but it's basically one row block it was technically two rows but what I mean is one block with two columns. So if we go in here and edit that column, you will see the content that appears in that column. Um, so I'm going to change, change the wording here so I can show you how you would modify 
the template. I'm going to say, um, oh man, uh, I'm just going to say test number one. I just want to show you. Okay, so do test number one. Um, we come in here. Let's see. So as you can see here, it's using short code that tells us let that's that says let's pull these four four images: the image ID number 12, 14, 13, and 15. Okay which is 12, 13, 14, and 15. So if you, you know that will put, pull the images and put them in their little gallery there. Um, okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to change anything there. Oh, why not? Let's do this. Let's add an anim animation for these images. So we're going to have them fade in. Okay? So that's that's the change we're going to do there. And then up here the first one, the first block, I'm going to change and say, um, I'm going to select the text here and I'm going to say, Welcome to my YouTube demo video of Rocket Builder. I am just going through and modifying the, what was it, the About Us page template. Okay, so that's the change we're going to make here. You can add padding, again, animations if you want. Um, background color, you can align the text. This is a more visual way of building your page than it would be to use this plain old blank space and, you know, have to use code to build tables and, you know, things like that. This makes it more, at least to me, it makes it more visual. You, know, you can kind of visualize that, hey, I'm going to add a block, and in that block I want to have two columns um, or three columns or whatever I want to do. And it, and it also, you can see that this is one section, so I'm going to have my introduction. Then I'm going to move on to having a few pictures and in a, in a, in a mini gallery type of thing, and then I'm going to have down here I'm gonna have some bullet points or whatever um, you know you're you're organizing each page and, and visually organizing it so let's click update and now let me show you so so remember this is the original page when we hit refresh we're going to see a few changes these should fade in because we chose that animation um, and this should change I think to test number one and then this is going to be my welcome text so I'm going to hit reload and there you go so these faded in hopefully you noticed that uh, welcome to my YouTube demo and and all the text that I just wrote appears now over here and then here's our test number one so everything worked out the way we wanted it to and that's just me to show I'm just trying to show you how you can go in, use a template, and modify anything you like in that template very easily. Um, and some people might like to do that as opposed to building their own thing from scratch. But for those of you who do like to build things from scratch, that's the next thing we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and create a new page. We're going to do Add New. And I'm going to call this... I'll give it a basic name and we can use the back end editor we can use the front end editor and of course down here we can use the section uh, this editor as well there's nothing here right now obviously because we haven't done anything yet and also we have layout options as you can see here all right SEO options these are all parts of rocket builder Okay, let's see, slider revolution, um, let's see, okay, so I've selected a slider for the time being, um, the layout, the layout's going to be, uh, let's go, it's going to be a full width with no sidebar, 
Uh, let's see, turn it on if you build content using Content Builder. Okay. I'm not sure, quite sure what that part is. Okay, anyways, let's um, let's save this because I want to see if the um, I want to see if the slider came up. So I want to preview this. Right now, I'm expecting to see a blank page with the slider up top. Yep, there it is. Well, there's the slider, but there's nothing else. It's just like our home page. This is, um, and you can create your own slider, of course. Okay, keep that in mind. You know, you would just come down to um, slider evolution. You can either add it or create your own from there. But uh, you know, actually, I I'm actually not going to use that. Okay might think that was kind of pointless but at least we saw how you would select a slider on a new page but I'm not, I'm not going to use it for this purpose what I'm going to do you know so now I have options I can use the back end editor front end editor I can also come down here and add sections as I was showing you a moment ago um, but I think what I would like to do is go through the uh, front end editor for now and what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to use oh, we still have okay I forgot to save my changes so still have the slider coming up here I don't want that so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to edit the page and I guess okay we have to make sure that we save changes every time we change something like that which I did not do so where is that um, right okay let's save the draft and then once that's done then we can go into the front end editor okay and now this is what we wanted to see. Welcome to your blank page. Um, now, like I said, I'm going to bring in a layout. Come over to default layouts here, to default templates. I'm going to use, um, let's see, which one do we want to use? Uh, let's do let's do video with description because I kinda have an idea for that so there was a little loading thing up there I don't know if you caught it but basically it finished so I know I can close it now and I know that once I close it I have my templates in place here so you can't really see anything because there is nothing here yet we haven't put our video in there just yet but here's what we know this is our video placeholder you can see it says video player there so that's where we're going to choose our video that we're going to play in this uh, position these are unused um, these are unused what's the word I'm looking for blocks I guess and then there's nothing in there right now they're optional here's a text block I'm going to change soon and then we have a couple more text blocks here so these ones come with images so let me pause for just a moment I want to grab a couple images that I can use for these blocks I'm gonna find a video that I want to use and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I can how I implement them in this page template Okay, I'm back and I've put together a text file with some of the things I want to enter in this new page that I've created, beginning with a YouTube video link, which is actually just the link to my previous Rocket Builder demo. So, uh, before that, what I actually want to do is I want to add I want to add an additional row to this template to kind of show you that you know you can do you're not restricted to what comes within the template and and the elements within the template you can do 
other things as well. So we're going to add a new element and it's going to be a, let's see, um, it's going to be a row and let's see that came in at the bottom. Okay, it looks like that came in at the bottom, but we want to move it up. We want to move it up, so how do we do that? Well, hold on one second here. This is where the drag and drop comes into play. Notice how I click the row, and I'm just dragging it up, dragging it up to the top of our page above the video block. And now it is at the top, and I go ahead and click Edit, and I wait for this to load. I give it a, I know if it's absolutely necessary to give this the class name, I'm not going to. Um, but this is a row, so what I need to do is add a text element within that row. So I'm going to click on the plus button here, and then we have we have text block, um, separators, no. Use the text block, but I'm actually going to use. Let's see what custom. Let's see what custom heading is. Custom heading. Uh, okay, there's a custom heading. So let's call it Rocket Builder Demo. And I want to use the H2 tag. I want to center this. Um, the font size. Uh, oh gosh, I guess well. H2 has a default size. I'm going to leave that alone for now. I can always come back and change it. Um, we can use a different color. So I'll do that. Let's kind of use that color in the font face. Let's see what we've got here. Quite a few. Quite a few to choose from. I'm, I'm not really too familiar with fonts by their name alone. So I will admit it would be nice if there was some kind of preview here uh, but I guess what I could do is kind of play with it oh here we go here's the preview it's just down here okay um, let's see what we've got I, I suppose this one's fine okay so i um, gonna save changes and then this is gonna change as well um, we can close that. We have Rocket Builder demo sitting above the video, and I like the font. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the size. Now we have to go in and choose our video, and that, of course, it just asks us for the video link, which I have ready. So I'm going to paste that in here. Chose. Okay, maybe it didn't save the first time because I see it just went away. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, now it's definitely saved. Okay, obviously the preview is right there the way we want it. And let's, so now we have the next element um, in our template. And why don't we do this? Why don't we go into the back end editor now and resume from there just so I can kind of show you the different ways around Rocket Builder. Um, I'm going to save the draft, make sure we don't lose anything. Uh, make sure that, okay, successfully updated. And I'm going to click back end editor. So we're going to come back into the back end editor. And I'm going to show you how from here, see our video player here? So this is everything that we did in the front end. All the elements are simply down here now in the back end, and they can be changed just to just as well over here. So, so we're going to click Edit Text Block from here. It's the same general thing. It really it, all it depends on is is how you prefer to look at your page. If it was up to me, I, I think I kind of prefer the front end editor more, but some people might like the way you know this is structured and each each section of your page is clearly um, parsed out in the back end editor might make it easier for you um, it's really it's just nice to have different options available to us so this is the text I just copied and pasted in here this is my first 
demo video of the rocket builder theme, blah, blah, blah. Um, just going to save the changes there. And as you can see, it's updated. Then, I fi finally, the last thing to do is add a couple images. And what I'm going to use is basically, um, uh, I guess, a feature box, a couple feature boxes. You know, you, you could use these for whatever you want. You can get rid of them and replace them with something else if you want. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and going to select my image and I have the path that I want to select my images from save that when I was offline so I can go here and then I'm going to upload my images and basically I have a mascot cartoon I saved these I don't know when I got them at some point <clears throat> so I'm just going to select one of them and that's going to go inside of the image element. Set, Click set image and you can set the image size here which means you can put the dimensions in like that. <clears throat> this is width by height and then you have other options down here. Um, you can link the image to another URL. Um, you can align it to center aligned. And then we're going to save the changes. <clears throat> okay, and once that's done, I'm going to come in and copy the text that I have saved for this text block simply come in and edit that one. Uh, that's actually the column settings. Let's make sure to click this one. Okay, so once again I'm going to paste that in here. Um, right now I have header tags in there. I'm going to actually remove those. Instead what I'll do is just make it bold. And then um, we're going to save that same thing on the right. Now we have to select an image on the right side. I'm going to grab my dimensions first, or I could just remember them 200 by 360. Copy the path for my image. Come in here to edit. Once again, upload files, select. That looks like it saved the path from last time. And let's see. Let's use. Really, it doesn't matter, I, I guess, but uh, I'm going to pick that one for the heck of it. And, one, okay, so now then we can set the image and come down here at our. Oops, we want our. I guess I forgot the dimensions already. 200 by 360 is what we want. I'm going to put that in here. Once again, we're going to align center. Um, and then that's all we need to do as far as the image goes. Text block, we're going to use this. Text that I've written offline. And come in here, edit overwrite the existing text, get rid of the h2 tags, and instead make the heading bold, save changes, and now we can also update our overall page, which appears that actually we ended up publishing the page when we did that too, which is fine, that is fine. Um, yeah, page published. So let's go ahead and view the page actually. See what we've come up with. <clears throat> this is just a simple page. Remember we added this header on our own. It was not part of the template. Um, we have the video. You could resize the video. Keep in mind, in this case, it's a very large uh, frame here. And then it goes into a small description. You could have resize the text if you want. And then looks like we could resize this image as well. The little arm got cut off there. 
or actually what you would probably resize is the column the column size so that this full image could fit into that space or again resizing the image would work too so you have a couple of options there um, and then this is the footer this is not part of the page this is just the global footer these are widgets that you can assign over here where appearance and widgets okay that's where you would go for that um, let's see let's go back into the front end real real quick and let's say um, let's say you wanted to add some social buttons to the bottom of your page we can either do that from down here add element or we can go up here and also add element but I'm gonna click this one and that's gonna bring them all up so you've got let's see you got Google Plus tweet Facebook like you can do accordions uh, image carousel call to actions actually let's do a call to action button because we're talking about um, a rocket builder which is a product even though we're never going to actually use this page, you know, it would make more sense for what we're building here. So I would say something like uh, buy rocket builder. Um, it says, oh wait, that, what is this here? Enter your content text on the button. Isn't that what I just did? Well, I'm a little confused about that part. But anyways, um, put in my affiliate link cloak to affiliate link here target I always like to bring that uh, target uh, in a new window color let's use blue it's a button color so we could do blue green uh, gray orange I guess the blue blue looks nice to me you can have an icon I'm gonna use an arrow icon the size, regular size, large, small, or mini. Uh, alignment, right, left, or bottom. I'm not quite sure why there's no center, but maybe that's what bottom is. I'm not sure. Okay, and so let's see what comes out of that. We click Save Changes. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is what's going on. You have your... Uh, text above the button and then you have your button text okay so that makes sense so here you would probably say something like get 50% discount um, and then you might say add to cart and considering the size of that button I might change it to large and then you know and then that makes a little more sense Okay, and there's your arrow that we chose as the icon. So, you know, then, then simply, again, update. You're going to update that. So it's a very visual page builder. You know, um, that's pretty much what this all boils down to. So I had a couple comments. Uh, I was going to wrap it up at that. But I had a couple comments, people who wanted to see uh, one of the features with rocket builder is it allows you to add the video background so that's actually the very last thing I'm going to go over uh, once I do that we're gonna wrap this one up alright so here here's how we want to do that we want to come and then add a new page and this one's gonna be called video background and down here now keep in mind this is a brand new page blank nothing's on it now what you're gonna do is add a section edit that section and over here you're going to have background video HTML5 two sections for that you need both of them one of them is your mp4 of your video file and the other is your OGV now there are plenty of free tools if you have a video background you would like to use it and you want to convert it to HTML5 so you could use it for your web page there are pl plenty of free tools 
Um, one of them is called Miro Video Converter. And uh, the address for that, let's see if I could make it large enough where you guys could see it. I'm going to open Word here real quick. Uh, okay, here's the web address. It's Miro Video Converter. Dot com. Okay, so you go there, you get the free tool. Looks like this. Okay, I just used it as well. Um, and then when you're here, you can browse. I've already uploaded my two files to my media library, so I'm going to select the MP4, and then I'm going to select the OGV file over here. And then you want to make sure your layout is set under advanced to support your video background so let's see so I would do full screen okay and uh, you know keep in mind this is totally raw you know I'm just this is completely raw um, we haven't really made this as a page so but hopefully it'll give you the gist of what we're trying to do here um let's see what else what else what else okay so um we come up here we've set to full pay okay so i think at this point we're going to save the draft Oh, okay, I know what I, I forgot. Um, so we have a background, but yeah, I, I should put something... I should put something inside. Let's see, I should like add, a, add a, um, an element or something. Let's go into the front end real quick. And what I'm going to do is... You see, oh, well, here you go. This is the video background. But as you can see, I have all this stuff up here, you know, because it's a, basically a blog post with a video background. So, you know, if we were working on this, we could get rid of this, and it would purely be this as our video background, okay? You know, from and from here, what you could do is, of course, add things inside of your page, you know, and have this video background playing. Um, so that is how you basically add it. There are also more instructions available to you when you purchase uh, Rocket Builder and they have video tutorials for everything. And I mean everything is covered. The both video tutorials and text uh, HTML tutorials as well. But we've been running for uh, running this demo now for quite some time so I'm ready to finally wrap this one up one last word um, remember there will be a link below this video which goes to my rocket builder review page over here you will find more information about rocket builder um, including my review including my bonuses these are exclusive bonuses that you receive only through my page when you purchase rocket builder um, through any of the links on my review page and you can get all of the bonuses shown on my page if you do not like or want any of the bonuses that are provided to you by default you may exchange them for anything from my list for example you could trade um, the Kindle bestseller secrets from any any other product on my list, or you could trade all 31 of them for 31 hand-picked bonuses of your own. All you have to do is forward the receipt that comes to, into your email after you purchase Rocket Builder. I need to see your receipt so I can simply look up your transaction ID, email at uh, PayPal email address, or PayPal transaction ID against my account to make sure that I have indeed received credit or my commission for from your purchase 
and when that is verified you will receive your free bonus generally within 24 hours of your purchase so that's about it I just want to thank you so much above all for taking the time to watch this review um, watching watching this demo uh, you know I'm really working on my channel and you know the subscriptions ever you know the comments everything that I can get means so much to me uh, you know I put a lot of effort into this YouTube thing as does everyone else who um, uploads their own videos to YouTube so thank you very much for watching I hope most of all that this this video helped you come to a final decision or a buying decision on Rocket Builder have a great day and we'll see you again later.